I thought it might be interesting to do a quick video about lettuce breeding and selection and what we have right here is kind of a double row of an F2 seedling population of a cross of lettuce and the female parent was black seeded Simpson which is an old-fashioned heirloom uh, green leaf lettuce it's fairly famous it's a very fast growing very tasty uh, lettuce variety doesn't have much bolt tolerance so it's pretty much just a spring and fall uh, leaf lettuce and it's just a typical loose leaf lettuce it's kind of like the uh, old-fashioned flavor and texture standard for leaf lettuce and uh, five or six years ago I was growing out some seed that I'd purchased from I can't even remember where of black seeded Simpson and there was one lettuce that was an off type it was a little bit less frilly and it had like a slight red blush to it and it was it jumped out at you just because it was quite different in the uh planting of black seeded simpson and let me try and see if i can find so to make a long story short i saved seed from it and this population actually that original crossed lettuce looked somewhat like this it had kind of a reddish pinkish cast to the leaves like this does but they had almost more like this one where there was like a slight reddish blush along the edges of the leaves if you can see that there and so I saved that seed separately and I've been growing it out over the last few years and just growing out a population of the F2 plants looking for uh, superior individuals to save seed from because I really like black seeded Simpson but I would love to get some more modern bolt tolerance genes with a similar flavored and textured lettuce uh, and I wouldn't mind um a slightly different color and so one of the things that jumped out jumps out at you when you grow out the f2 seed from that cross is obviously the male parent was a pretty modern variety because it's only been in the last you know 20 or 30 years or so that the vegetable breeders have been creating these super dark red lettuces and um it's pretty cool that some of these really, really intensely dark red uh, offspring are coming out in this cross. I mean, because like this one is intensely red and its female mother plant was uh, basically pale, very similar to this guy right here is uh, Black Seeded Simpson. Um, and to have a mother plant create a you know a granddaughter or grandson plant that looks like this is pretty pretty cool so i'm suspecting especially based on kind of it's also segregating for uh frilliness that the male parent was something like uh cherokee which is a very dark red um summer crisp lettuce which i really like a lot and uh so what you're getting in this population is just uh, F2 segregation for all of the different traits for leaf color and frilliness and shape. And so what I've been doing, and vigor too, what I've been planning on doing is just walking through the patch and sort of watching these plants as they grow. Like this one is a pretty nice plant but it's very, very similar to Black Seeded Simpson. So it's worth probably saving seed from just because it's got a lot of weight to it. It's got nice texture, good flavor, 
you know, this is a big head, you know, it's grown well. So that's a neat lettuce and that has potential, but it, you know, it's not that different from black seeded Simpson. So if, but if it has the bolt tolerance from the male parent, this might be superior in a lot of ways. And I really would like to have, you know, a good flavored, you know, soft textured leaf lettuce. The, the summer lettuces that are commercially available like Waldemans and Green Ice and some of the newer ones, they, they're really tough. They don't have great texture the way Black Seeded Simpson does. So I'm always on the lookout for, you know, a nice green leaf lettuce and it's a lot of fun. I mean, I think everyone should grow some F2s because just looking, it's so neat to come out and see all this diversity, you know? This all came from one single plant, one cross, and like, I really like this one too. That's much darker red than New Red Fire, which is kind of my standard red leaf lettuce. So this one I'm definitely gonna try and save seed from and see if it will continue to become like these large, I mean, it could be a little frillier and the leaves could be a little wider. So this one isn't perfect, but it's also an F2 plant. You know, it's gonna continue to segregate. So there might be some wider leaves in the F3, you know, if I grow out this seed separately. So that'd be cool. And, you know, coming along, there's some really neat red ones. You know, and then you come along and there's, here's this guy. It's kind of got this weird grayish color and it's small and not gonna do anything with that guy, you know? And this one, not a winner in the genetic lottery, you know? But to see the way these segregate is just really cool. Now here's one, it's kind of interesting. It's got kind of almost like a speckled look to it, you know? And that's pretty cool. It's got very flat leaves. I will not be continuing with this one because I find that this kind of speckled leaf color does not sell well at market. You know, there's a, there's a, a romaine called uh, speckled trout that a lot of seed companies like to sell. And I've grown it and people think it's diseased when you put it on your table. So even though speckled lettuces are pretty neat looking in the, in the field and on, you know, I think in your salad bowl, they're not pretty on the, you know, at a market stand. So even though this one's kind of cool, it's not I'm just going to eat it. So what I did when I was laying out this patch is I sort of uh, sorted the seedlings by the color they were showing as a seedling and then uh, selected this one I really like. It's not quite as big, but it's got this really intense kind of emerald green color and it's very soft textured. So I'm interested to see I might try and save this one just because I really like how intensely green this, you know, it's like got this kind of shininess to the leaves. Really cool. This one's pretty nice too. Not as quite as full. This one's really a full, full lettuce. I like that. Anyway, just, I think, you know, if you're interested in saving seed and um, experimenting in your gardens or fields it's, it's really worth like growing out something simple like an f2 of a bean cross or an f2 of a lettuce cross because you can you know see a lot of segregation in a really small space so i just love having some f2 population of something every year so i can just go out and like watch you know see the differences between each individual plant it's just really cool and very satisfying because it's so quick you know all right, I hope this was interesting to people and thanks a lot for watching.